This next part of the story is about my early years performing on stage. I started out my stage career in church pageants and local school programs. Later on, after I learned to play the guitar, I started appearing on stage in various public events. The highlight of my stage career was a Broadway musical I appeared in during high school. I'll never forget that first time I performed on stage in public. It was an awe-inspiring experience. I started out my stage career in church and in school. My earliest roles were in the local Christmas pageants put on by the church. My first role was that of jo Joseph in the story of Jesus' birth. Later on, during elementary school, I performed in several musical programs, once playing a Mexican gaucho and another time a singing cowboy. As a teenager, I also performed regularly in church specials as a member of the youth choir there at church. I started appearing on stage in public after I learned to play the guitar. My first time on stage was at a local honky-tonk when I was 11 years old. I also continued to perform in church and I sang in many of the revivals held throughout the community. During my early teen years, I appeared in several talent competitions, although I never won any. And occasionally I sat in with the bands at the dances following the rodeo. The highlight of my early stage career was the Broadway musical I appeared in during high school. The musical was produced and directed by our music teacher, Mrs. Charlotte Tatum. It was called Finian's Rainbow, and it was a well-known production from the Broadway stage. I played a supporting role as a black traveling minstrel, and I sang a song called Old Them Golden Slippers. The first time that I appeared on stage in public was an inspiring experience that I never forgot. One night I was there at the Red Barn Saloon in Cow Hill listening to my brother's band. During the break, I was invited on stage to sing a song with the band. The song that I sang that night was a tune I learned from George Jones. I liked George Jones' music for several reasons. First, his music was always simple, and second, it was always straight from the heart. I'll never forget the experience that night. When I started to sing, a hush fell over the crowd and every eye turned on me. It was so quiet, it could hurt a pin drop. As I sang my song that night, something magical happened almost like an aura appeared over the crowd. Ironically, the song that I sang that night was number one on the country charts the day I was born. That song was a Dickie Lee number called She Still Thinks I Still Care. Now just because I asked a friend about her And just because I spoke her name somewhere Just because I rang her number by mistake today You know she thinks I still care Now just because I haunt the same old places Where the memory of her lingers everywhere Just because I'm not the happy guy I used to be you know she thinks I still care But if she's hanking, thinking I still miss her Then let that silly notion bring her cheer Oh how could she ever be so foolish? Oh, where would she get such an idea? And just because I asked a friend about her, and 
Just because I spoke her name somewhere Just because I saw her and I went to pieces You know she thinks I still care You know she thinks I still care